you can use place value to help compare numbers. Start with the greatest place. Compare the digits. If they're the same, look at the next greatest place and then compare those digits. Let's look at some more numbers. Now let's use place value to compare larger numbers. Complete the statement. Choose the symbol that makes the statement true. Complete the statement. Choose all the numbers that are less than 6,093. You haven't found all the numbers that are less than 6,093. Look, look for more.
Select less than or greater than to complete the comparison for each pair of numbers. Choose all the numbers that are greater than 15,389. Start by comparing the greatest place. If the digits are the same, compare the next greatest place. Select less than or greater than to complete the comparison for each pair of numbers. Choose all the numbers that are less than 210,783. Select less than or greater than to complete the comparison for each pair of numbers. Complete the statement. Choose the symbol that makes the statement true. Complete the statement. Complete the statement. Complete the statement. 
Complete the statement. Which number is greater than 52,136? Which number is less than 174,021? Victor's Mind Meter Challenge goes live tonight, and I can't get past the first question. Maybe Victor has finally outsmarted his maker. Well, bro, good thing your older and wiser sister is always one step ahead of you. <laughs> we need to know how to add and subtract two and three-digit numbers to complete Victor's challenge. This Q by Q app should come in handy. So, we can use flats, rods... And small cubes to model numbers? Genius! I know I am. Find the sum. 165 plus 123. We can build each of these numbers with base 10 blocks. Cue the app. Let's start with 165. I can drag one flat to represent the one in the hundreds place. And I'll drag six rods to represent the six in the tens place. Finish building the number by dragging small cubes to show the ones. Check you out. 165 can be pictured with one flat, six rods, and five small cubes, and can be written as 100 plus 60 plus 5. Now it's your turn to drag blocks to build 123. You got it! 123 can be pictured with one flat, two rods, and three small cubes, and can be written as 100 plus 20 plus 3. Now, let's combine all of the blocks. How many flats, rods, and small cubes are there in all? Roger that. If we combine the blocks we get, two flats, eight rods, and eight small cubes, that's 200 plus 80 plus 8. 
Find the sum. You can use the blocks or the expanded form to help. Precisely. Using the blocks to help break down each number into its expanded form makes finding the sum a snap. Level 2. Looks like we need to break apart numbers and find their sum. Let's try. Find the sum. 312 plus 177. Write 312 in expanded form. You got it! Now, write 177 in expanded form. You got it! Now we have both numbers in expanded form. Add the hundreds, tens, and ones. That's affirmative. Voila! We should be able to find the sum now. Find the sum. Nice! Level 3. Looks like we can use a number line to add 2. Let's try it. We can use the number line to add by counting on. Let's write 114 in expanded form so that we can count on in parts. What is 114 in expanded form? That's affirmative. Now that we have 114 written in expanded form, we can add it in simpler parts. To add 100, we can start at 246 and jump forward 100 on the number line. Click on the Add button to show jumping forward 100. Where do we land after we add 100? You got it! Now, let's jump again to add 10 to 346. 
click on the Add button to show another jump. Where do we land after we add 10? Roger that. Now let's jump forward to add 4 to 356. Click on the Add button to show the last jump. Where do we land after we add 4? Check you out. So, 246 plus 114 equals 360. I wonder if a number line will work for subtraction too. Let's try. Find the difference. What is 80 minus 32? We can think about this subtraction problem as finding the number we have to add to 32 to get 80. If we can get to the next 10 on the number line, the next jump will be simple. We're at 32, so the next 10 is 40. What do we need to add to 32 to get to 40? Check you out. We've made it up to 40, and we need to get to 80. What do we need to add to 40 to get to 80? Roger that. But... How does this help us find the difference? If we add up all of the jumps we made on the number line, we'll know what to add to 32 to get to 80. What is the sum of all the jumps? You got it! We jumped 48 to get from 32 to 80, so 80 minus 32 is 48. Let's try another one. Find the difference. Oh, snap. This looks trickier. <laughs> Not trickier, just greater numbers. I can use the number line again and just count on from 157 until I get to 302. I'll make the first jump. If we start at 157 and add 3, we will land on the next 10, 160. Let's jump from 160 to the next 100. What do we need to add to 160 to get to the next 100? Check you out. I'll make the next jump. To get from 200 to 300, I'll jump forward 100. What do we need to add to 300 to get to 302? You got it. Now, we can add up all of the jumps that we made to get to 302. What number do you need to add to 157 to get to 302? Check you out. And this means that 302 minus 157 
equals 145. Ready to read Victor's mind? Bella added 475 plus 32 and got a sum of 405. I think there is a problem with her addition. Try the two sentences that match Victor's thinking. The sum has to end in 7, because there are 5 ones in the first number and 2 ones in the second number. The sum must be greater than 700, because when you add the first digits of each number, you get 7. 405 is too small. Bell is adding a number to 475, so the sum has to be bigger than 475. Roger that. These two are great arguments for why Bella's answer is wrong. This one doesn't make sense. The four in the first number represents four hundreds. The three in the second number represents three tens, not three hundreds. Bo used a number line app to solve 470 minus 360. Bo's number line jumps are plus 40, plus 100, and plus 70. I think there is a problem with his number line. Drag the two sentences that match Victor's thinking. Bo, you Nice! Both of these choices explain that these jumps take you past 470. The landing spot after jumping 40 is 400. I think the plus 100 jump might be the bug in Bo's program. Hey! Beta testing complete! And now, we're ready to go live! Felix solves 346 plus 271. His answer should be closest to... The blocks show 287 plus 322. What is this sum? Find the sum. Wow.
which of the following shows a way to add 417 plus 352? Find the difference. <laughs> Rihanna used this number line to solve a problem. Which problem could she have been solving? What is 415 minus 180? Maddie solves 205 minus 150. Her answer should be closest to...